Amy? Up here. All you have to do is get by me. Back, spawn of Satan! <laughs> Hi, this is Dave with PDTV in collaboration with Crypticon Seattle. I'm here with Fright Night's Chris Sarandon. How do you like it here in Bellevue? How do I what? Oh, I'm sorry. How do you like it here in Bellevue? Oh, great. It's quite beautiful. Yeah. Have you been here before? Uh, no, never. I've been to Seattle before, but not to Bellevue. Yeah. This is. I was telling. Uh, I think it was Jonathan. Yeah, I was telling Jonathan Stark that this is a Bellevue's like a Washington's Beverly Hills. Because <laughs> yeah, he said he saw like a Bugatti. He said I don't even see that in California. Right, yeah. Right. Yeah, so um, which character would you say you get mostly recognized for? Uh, there's a real variety, actually. I, I can't say that there's one more than the other. It also depends on the venue, depends on the crowd. Yeah, yeah. So, Fright Night was one of the definitive horror films of the 80s. It, it defined like a, like probably like the vampire genre and just the horror genre, genre in general. So, can you tell us uh, about playing... The iconic classic character Jerry Dandridge well I mean I think it, you could probably see from here because there are a bunch of people from the show uh, at this convention we we like to hang out together we get along very well whenever we see each other we uh, enjoy each other's company immensely and we did when we were doing the movie the movie yeah. was great fun so yeah I, I think that's what I mean d despite despite like the, when if a movie has like a major star like yourself um, if the cast gets to w gets along well, yeah, I think the movie turns out like this movie. It's it's like it just stands the test of time. I think, and I think each person in the movie, each person in the movie played their part to to make that movie like you know a classic. I think. And, and uh, I think the movie was uh, Tom Holland, who used to be an actor a long time ago, uh, knows good acting and he cast it really well. And he also knows that um, a movie can can rise or fall on the strength of its cast. Oh, yeah. And not just the, the lead characters, but the supporting characters as well. And definitely, yeah. Okay. Um, the, the, the last Child's Play that came out, it came full circle with uh, Chucky being delivered to Andy's house, and he's grown. Um, do you think that uh, maybe, because uh, the original director, I think he directed this, and this he new directed, one, he and he's coming with, I heard he's coming with a new one. Do you, do you think that we'll see uh, an appearance of yourself? I have no idea. Are you talking about Tom Holland? Yeah. I, I didn't really realize that Tom was going to be doing a new one. No, yeah. I, I, I don't know. Well, uh, I guess rumors have, have surfaced, so we'll hope for, we'll hope for another one, because oh. this last one was great. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. The Nightmare Before Christmas was one of those movies that was kind of like a surprise classic. Um, did you think when making that, that you know it was going to be a classic? That when I saw the first footage, when I saw the first assemblage of the movie, I thought, I don't think anybody's ever seen anything like it. And uh, I couldn't imagine that it wouldn't be a hit, but you never know. Yeah. Thanks again, Mr. Hey, Mr. Sarandon. Thank this you. is, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Oh yeah, I forgot <laughs> your hand. So this is again this is David of PDTV and Crypticon Seattle signing out.